Jason Posner from Boca Raton, Florida, and we have our wonderful guests here from left to right, Carolyn Glicksman, who I've known for like I God knows how many years, right? From Bruce Springsteen land, <laughs> right? Not too yeah, far. Right. And the new Bajaj from Oklahoma City. We've all been on these calls a million times. So like really two world's experts and we're going to address a very interesting question that came up on one of our email uh, strings that we threw it back to PSC for discussion. So we have two of the foremost breast implant experts in the world here. So we want to talk about, we were just talking about our own personal experiences with getting the COVID-19 shot. And we've all, we addressed on one of these previous calls about filler swelling and things that were a possibility after some of the vaccines. But we had a question that came up about is there any effect upon getting implants or having breast implants with the vaccine or the virus that you guys know of? One of you guys, take it to town. So to date, I don't believe we have any evidence or reports of how adverse reactions related to breast implants. And millions and millions of women have breast implants. And, you know, a lot of physicians have breast implants and obviously they're the first ones to have gotten the first two doses. And I have yet to hear of any adverse events related to that. Yeah, I looked up, you know, yeah, I just went through and wanted to see what were the adverse uh -huh. events. I mean, these studies went on, they went through all the phases that a clinical trial normally goes through. Everybody's afraid that this study was, you know, these, these um, vaccines were rushed in any way. And I think that's part of the fear is that we actually got a vaccine within a year, which is unheard of. But the, they did go through all the phases. They did look at all the adverse events. The age groups included women that were certainly in a group of women in the age group that could have received breast implants and like uh, Anu said we have you know, millions and millions of women in this country and around the world that have implants, but there were no adverse events that were reported. I mean, the majority of adverse events were really just local, local problems, arm pains, fatigues, and chills, things that you normally get after any influenza vaccine. So, you know, the question is, like, let's talk about our peer groups. There are many plastic surgeons who have breast implants. I haven't heard of any one of them who said, I don't want this vaccine because of risk of fillers or breast implant complications. Have you guys, you guys keep up with the women in plastic surgery groups? Yeah, we do. Yes, we're both, the women's group in plastic surgery is very involved and very active. And many of us have all had breast implant surgery or have fillers and to a T, everybody i've spoken with has wanted to get the vaccine and the fact that she has had implants or fillers has not deterred her from getting a vaccine yeah. and from my own personal experience i have both breast implants and i've had facial fillers and i've had both of my doses of the vaccine and i wouldn't have done it any other way i didn't have a second thought once the opportunity became available right that's exactly the point the point is would you not get you know um a normal vaccines and when you go to travel, you know, say you wanted to go to different parts of the world and you want to start traveling. I mean, whether I took a cholera vaccine once or I took a, you need a typhoid vaccine or if you want to travel to any, you know, tropical countries, you need vaccines. This has been going on for years. Um, there's nothing that unique about this vaccine other than it was approved rapidly um, because it was such an urgent need. So, you know, one of the things is listening to you guys, like you have to say, does this pass my smell test, which is, <coughs> Would I do it or recommend it to any family member? Like we were talking pre -op before, I got my second dose today. I wouldn't, I wouldn't hesitate to have any staff member, any family member. My mom's in a nursing home. She just, she's between first and second dose. She has Alzheimer's, but you know, I recommend that everybody get this. And I, I really think that the money, the proof of the pudding's in the eating. We're doing it ourselves. So I heard about in California, like half the firefighters didn't want to get it. They were offering incentives to them to get it. I'm like, to me, get this because the risk of COVID far outweighs the risk of the vaccine in my book. That's what I would agree with too. The stories I've heard about individuals who've been sick from COVID and the number of people who've had bad recoveries of COVID or even have experienced more serious issues such as death. There's no way I would want to experience that or have any member of my family experience that. I, I mean, I heard of a couple of our peer, peers got, got, were in the hospital. I mean, one of my buddies in Long Island was in the hospital for 11 days. One of our buddies in Louisiana, who you all know was in the hospital, he just got out, he's doing fine. But like, you could have some serious problems with this. So my recommendation is if anyone's watching this video on YouTube or the Plastic Surgery channel, really don't hesitate and get this vaccine because again the risks benefit you know 
the ben are, are higher than the, the, the benefits are higher than the risks. The benefits of the vaccine far right. outweigh the risks of having COVID. I think if, if we were to bring this back to talking about breast implants, you're going to have the group of women in the social media platforms that are going to say, but we don't know the long term effects. And I think just as I said before, it's truly no different than any other vaccine. If you have been back, you know, I think I just saw one uh, recently on somebody's page uh, that said, oh, it was uh, um, uh, Atlan from Paris, uh, Michael Atlan from Paris. And it basically said, you know, uh, got polio. No, of course you don't have polio, <laughs> you know, because it's <laughs> science. Right. So it's basically that concept. What is what are the known and unknown risks and how do they relate to breast implants? Well, obviously, it hasn't been studied together specifically this this virus, but it works like any other this this uh, vaccine. It works like any other vaccine. And I think that the social media groups are where that question comes from would be those women that are fearful of anything. They're probably in the anti-vaxxers who wouldn't vaccinate their children for measles. So if you're an anti-vaxxer, be my guest, don't get it. And you probably don't have implants either. But for those women who want breast implants, who are willing to believe the science and the, the science of the uh, safety data on the devices, you want to also believe the safety data on the vaccine and put the two together. Yeah. For the Plastic Surgery Channel, please follow us on YouTube and please go to theplasticsurgerychannel.com. Thank you all.